Ooh. Yeah, how y'all doing this morning? Once again, it's kind of cold and chilly, so I slapped the old Pendleton from last Christmas on to try to warm up. So, of course, you know, I wake up and I surf a little YouTube in the mornings. Somehow I came across all that racist bullshit again. And you look at it. And the videos I watched this morning were um, basically saying, you know, there's more than just one kind of racist, in other words. That was the name of the first one I, I ran across, I believe. And they were showing black people, you know, being stupid. Then I went on to watch the one where the, the Mexican guy's got a video camera and a uh, white guy's asking to join the Minutemen. Um, the main problem I have with racism is that nobody understands why. You know, the question has never been asked, well, why? Nobody tries to ask the question, why? Why do these people dislike me because of this? Why do these people dislike me because of that? Why? It's just that, oh, fuck you, black guy. Fuck you, white guy. I hate you, white lady. I hate you, white black guy. And I hate you, white guy. And I hate this. I hate that. I hate that. And everybody's just hating each other. Don't nobody know why. I can understand if somebody of color has done something to you. Then you wouldn't like, you know, or you'd be afraid around this color of people or whatever. But if nobody has physically done anything to you, I don't see why there should be any racism. Unless a white guy slapped you across the face and called you nigger and spit on you, why should you give a damn about some white guy not liking you or not respecting you or not showing you the due respect that you deserve? Why should you even give a damn? Um, and when it comes to white people, black people have various reasons why they don't like white people. Me, personally, I don't have any reason not to like a person. I don't have any reason to hate a person. So there's no reason for me to dislike or, or like you, period. Everybody starts off as this piece of paper. No matter how dark you are, you're just as white as me. No matter how black you are, you're just as black as me. No matter how dingy your socks may be, you're just as poor as me. No matter how shiny your curtains may be, ain't no difference in the curtains in my house. The fact of the matter is this, we saw we all eat out the mouth, with the mouth, and shit out the ass. It's the same. No matter what color you are, you're going to stick food in your mouth and shit out your ass. Did you know that? Well, now it's going to be some assholes out there saying, Yeah, shit comes out black like a nigger. Well, that's just too bad. I can't explain why your shit is brown and your face is white. Well, I remember when I was a little kid. I must have been around 10 or 11 or younger. <laughs> a white kid comes up to me and says, When you guys shit, does it come out white? Because your skin is brown, I'm white, and I should have come out black. Either he was trying to be a dick and start a fight, or he was extremely curious. I don't know. I'm 40 years old now. I never did go see the kid again. I never revisited that moment. I'm like, damn. Everybody knows when you shit, it comes out brown. Now let's go drink the beer we just stole and get the fuck out of here. Let's go. <laughs> Whatever the hell the case was. But, um, kids have the opportunity that we don't have. Because they don't start off with that asshole attitude that we end up with. They don't start off seeing people in a light that someone tells you to look for. No, look, look, watch his eyes. You start doing this shit, then you know you're gonna start tripping. You know, we have been told what to look for. We have been shown. Look, look at that, you see how they treat us. So, you know, plus I've been watching the Planet of the Apes. And all this stuff is racially motivated. I mean, half the shit we go through is based on what we are. And the other half is what somebody else thinks we are. And when people already pass judgment on you and you're trying to do something, how can you win? How can you win if the odds are stacked against you because of what someone may think? Uh, instinct. Instinct is wrong. 
Yes, instinct is wrong. Sometimes, you know, life is a computer. Like I said, you, you, your human body is a computer. Everything that goes in your body is stored inside your body, and you remember everything. You remember, you remember what led up to when this happened. You remember how this went down to make that happen. You remember. And you remember racism. You remember Grandpa coming home saying what the what those niggers downtown were doing. You remember uh, the lady saying, "I ain't gonna let my daughter go out with no niggers." And you remember them people saying, "Let get those niggers out of my fucking house." You remember that shit. And when you're white, remember that group of black guys trying to fuck with you. Remember those black girls talking about you, laughing and making fun of you. You remember that time somebody threw something at you and you turned around nothing but black people were standing there. You remember all those words that people spoke and whispered behind your back. You remember. And we all have had a racist or racial moment. We've all said something racist or done something racist. We have all carried that flag of disrespect. We've all did it. I did it. Fuck that white motherfucker. Beep, beep, beep. And I've had it done to me, stupid fucking nigger. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Clean that up, nigger. I've had all kind of fucked up shit happen. But I hate white people for it. I don't hate nobody white. I don't hate nobody black. I don't hate nobody. And that's the point. You know, the first thing you learn is if you want to beat a group of people, you divide and conquer the first thing they teach us they teach us this growing up you get a group of people trying to fuck with you you take the biggest one out I mean we have been programmed not to dislike each other we have been programmed not to even want to be around each other it's like oh well we have to make them not hate each other but not like each other only good enough to get along to get our agenda completed. That's that's the, that's as long as black people and white people have to get along. Get along good enough for somebody else to manipulate us both. Smile for the camera, niggas. Stupid crackers, peckerwoods, hunkies, chanks, wet packs, Mexicans. Smile, niggas, because ignorant is what that word means. And not all the ignorant people are of one shade of color anymore. Some of them have no color. Some of them have big corporations. Some of them have little corporations. Some of them have big aspirations. And some of them have nothing. We've all been experimented on, played with, toyed with. You ever uh, play Risk? We're on a big board and someone else is rolling the dice. Unity. Now, that's a disease I like to have. I like to have that disease called unity when everybody can be the same regardless. Oh! You pull up in front of a long hotel in your long limo and get out. Who opens the door for you when you get out your limo? White guy, black guy. Doesn't matter. They're opening the door for you to get out of limo. Regardless of what color you are, that person opening the door most likely makes not that much money. I have to be a doorman to open limo doors for people who turn up their nose and throw a couple crumbs of change out their pocket and you smile, thank you sir that person don't give a fuck what you are who you are you're already beneath that person when they looked down at you and threw some change in your hand and walked on up into that hotel that you can't afford to stay in that's racism Whenever you turn your nose up on somebody, especially those who try to help you, it's a form of racism. Black people do it to black people, white people do it to white people. It's classism. We have no class no more in this country. We have no respect for each other. And all we get is tube.